How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode. On today's video, we will be doing the downstairs laundry, shared bathroom, garage, and the outdoor patio area. For the laundry, it's pretty much just the standard plumbing and electrical. We've got a couple pipes in the ground to cast in from the slab pour, and electrical will just be running power points for the, um, the washing machine, as well as any other couple of appliances like ironing and all that. What we'll have here is a joinery cabinet over here, that window will be staying in place. We also have a stacked uh, washer and dryer system going to go on here. As we come in here just a bit further, we also have a large to the ceiling uh, linen closet here for any other storage. For this room here, it will just be a standard plasterboard finish with the white paint. I'm unsure of what we'll be doing for the tiling just yet, but as we are now, I'm probably going to be doing a tiled finish. I won't be continuing that timber floor in here just because it's a wet area. And it has a potential to swell with that temporary stuff. The toilet in here just in front of the laundry is just here. I won't show you in there because that's the construction toilet. It's pretty disgusting at the moment. But that room is pretty much just exactly as it is upstairs, just with a flat ceiling instead of the rag ceiling. So what we'd be doing there is a in-wall system with a new toilet, as well as a joinery basin, not that hand basin that we saw upstairs for the other shared bathroom. And then coming out from the toilet, from the stairs here, we then walk into the double car garage. This, because we had a lot of damage when we poured the slab, because we poured during rainy conditions, it left a lot of pitting in the slab. So what we'll be doing is a flake floor, like a white flake floor design, just so it covers that. It looks really good. Um, we do a nice epoxy finish on top, just so there's no marks and super easy to clean and get tire marks off. So for the garage as well, what we'll be doing is having a double car roller door over there. We'll also have a single garage door right behind on the other side of the garage. This is just so when there's an event or something in the garage, they can open up that rear and front garage door and just expand that space out from the patio because it's such a small rear backyard. It's not, not really backyard in this house, but it's pretty small. In the garage as well, it's pretty much just electrical works. There's no plumbing. All the electrical will be on this far wall here and on the ceiling for the garage roller door. This rear roller door will just be a manual one just because it probably won't be used that much. And then outside was the external patio area leading onto the inside of the house, the toilet and the laundry area as you walk in. With that all said and done, we can now begin the works for the laundry, toilet, garage and the outdoor patio area. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Unlike some of the other videos upstairs where we did the rough-ins right after we finished the framing, because the laundry is on a slab on ground area, we had all the rough-ins done prior to pouring the concrete slab. So now that we've done all the upstairs plumbing works, we can continue the pipe work from upstairs downstairs into the laundry area. So as you can see, we have the waste outlet right in the middle of the laundry. We have a basin outlet and outlets for the taps with hot water and cold water running up through the ceilings to the levels above as well. In the corner of the room, we also have the outlet for the sewer. This connects all the plumbing from the upstairs areas. As you can see here, this will all be hidden in the ceiling that will be dropped just below all this pipe work. Also, because this is such a compact house, we don't have a lot of room for a hot water unit. So here we have the rough-in for the electronic hot water system, which we hooked up to feed hot water to the entire house. So continuing on from that last part of the video, it's been about a week now, and what we've done in this week is we've completed all the electrical and plumbing rough-in works. As we come into the laundry here, we have a waste right in the middle, just to, for any extra excess water that comes out of anywhere. We'll have a waste here for the sink going in. This is for hot and cold water as well as water for the washing machine going in. Also have a couple of power points around the place, light switches to turn any power on. Over here, we have the sewer running from the upstairs area leading down as well as the inspection point that will be available in the joinery room that goes in. Moving on to the next part of the video, because all the electrical and plumbing works are done in this laundry and bathroom area next door, we'll be moving on to sheeting the walls in a gyp rock and also a villa board to allow for a bit of tiling as well as the ceilings. Also same as the ensuite area upstairs, we'll be continuing a gray tiled floor throughout this laundry area and throughout the toilet area in this locked area over here. On the garage space as well, continue on from that last bit of the video where we showed the water damage when we initially poured the slab. What we've decided to do is a flake floor in the garage area, so that'll be a light gray one to tie in with the tiling in the rest of the house. But we'll have to do a densifier over the entire slab area just to stiffen it up a little bit so the floor layer can grind it back and lay the epoxy down. 
coming out to the patio area from the garage, we have a power coming out from the rear wall just for an extra power point in the back patio area. But because this area is an outdoor area, we'll be continuing a similar gray tile to the inside out to this back area here in a P4 slip resistant tile. And as you can see here, we are starting the roof framing in the garage. This frame is bolted and chemically anchored down into the block wall. So as you would have seen from that video before, we had just finished the sheeting on the entire ground level area. So this is what the room looks like now. So as we walk into the laundry, we have a special sort of wet area board here and it's just all sheeted. So the next stage, what we move on to now is the setting and sanding stage. They're pretty much gonna start filling all these screw holes and put corners everywhere, just so it is ready for painting. And then coming out of laundry, going towards the patio area, this is the toilet area for the downstairs with that sort of same wet area board and the normal sheeting above. And while we had the plasters going in the inside, sheeting and setting all the walls, we had the carpenters come through the garage to finish framing and get it ready for the sheet install. So following on from that last part, we are in the laundry now, which as you can see behind me has been all set and sanded, including the roof. What we're just waiting for is the electricians to do all their cutouts in this area. But what we've moved on to since this last part is we've completed all the waterproofing in this area, as you can see here, and also into the toilet over here. So for those who haven't seen it before, they've waterproofed uh, this the entire base here because it'll all be tiled and they've also waterproofed 100 mil up from the ground floor to cover any skirting and just to sort of create this entire ground floor section here just to act as sort of a bath so it doesn't affect any of the walls around. While also in here you can see that they've waterproofed this whole wall here because this is where the all the basins in the washing machine will go so they've waterproofed all penetrations in the wall as well as around any electrical works going in here. And it's also exactly the same situation for the bathroom over here. They've waterproofed the entire floor to get it ready for the tiles and for the bedding. And then over here, you can see they've waterproofed around any penetrations that are in the floor, just to stop any water from coming up and affecting the walls and also any penetrations coming out of the walls. What they've also done in the both the laundry and the toilet area is they've put this aluminium angle in it. This just stops any water that pulls up inside from coming out and affecting the timber floor that's gonna be laid out in the hallway. So for the next stage in this uh, area here, what they're gonna be moving on to is they're gonna start all the bedding uh, in both these areas to get it ready for the tiling. And then they'll move on to tiling all the walls in these wet areas. While we've been doing the waterproofing, what we've done is we've had the carpenters come through and frame the ceiling of the garage, as well as get the sheeters and the setters in to finish off this area. So as you can see on our screen now, this is the block wall for the garage over here and the opening going out to the new street and the patio area over here where the roller door will go as well. But the for the ceiling here, you can see that they've completed all the setting and sanding around all the corners here and the joins and the sheets as well as all the openings. And we've had the electrician come through and do all the cutouts for all the lights in the ceiling as well. And for the motor here to power the roller door going in over here. Also for this area, because it was so affected by the rain when we poured the slab, we are going to be doing an epoxy floor in the garage to cover any imperfections. So what we've had to do is lay down a densifier just to strengthen up the concrete to get it ready for that epoxy floor. Moving on from that, what we've done is we have completed the driveway for the landscaping video that's going to be out as well. Um, once we've done that, what we're going to be moving on to is we're going to start installing the roll doors for the front of the garage and for the back of the garage leading out to the patio area. Now that that's all done, I can show you what the garage door looks like. So behind me from the inside, we have the large two, two car roller door going in, leading in from the new driveway that's been poured in an exposed aggregate. And then to the back, we have the small manual roller door leading out to the patio area slash backyard sort of barbecue area. While we had the garage doors going in, what we also did is we put a bedding down over the back patio area, just so we get some fall in case any water comes through here. And out there it'll come and just dispose off of that side and off that side. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run a straight tile edge around all the perimeter of here. And we're gonna do some herringbone pattern tiles right through the center. 
for an update in the laundry area where I am now, what we've done here is we've completed the uh, tiling works for the ground. And what we're gonna be moving on to next is we're gonna get the joinery installing. And then after that, we'll finish all the splashbacks. And then we'll pretty much move on to all the fitting of the appliances, like the washing machine and the dryer and the sinks and all the plumber stuff. We've also had the electricians come through. They just hung down the down lights in this room. Um, he's also put one up here so you can see. They have a three-way switch so you can change between daylight, cool light, and a warm light in case you're, the next owner wants to change the lighting style of the house. And if you haven't seen it on the back of these lights, what I was talking about before, you literally just flick this switch here and then it changes the color of the lights in the ceiling if you have this sort of model. And just so you can see, this is the floor of the laundry here. The tiles have come through and done the floor waste. Um, they've cut out the penetrations and they've also grouted all the floor tiles. And as we come out of the laundry down the patio area to the entrance over here, we have the toilet pretty much at the exact same stage as the laundry. The plumbers have come through. They've started fitting off the toilets and the buttons. Same as the electricians, the same as the laundry. They got the lights hanging down here with the exact same switch option here but the tiles are at the exact same stage where the tiles are come in put the floor waste in and they've grouted the gray floor tiles and because this area is running at the same pace as the laundry they're pretty much at the exact same stage so what's left in this room now is we have the uh joinery is going to go in here for the little hand basin that's going to go in later on and then once that's in the tiles will come in finish the splashback and then we're going to start installing mirrors and the final fit off items As you've seen from the footage before, we've had the joinery people come through and they've started installing all the joinery throughout the entire house. Here we have the main sort of laundry bench here. We're gonna have a tub going in. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go into this one. We have a space over here for the washer and dryer. It'll be a stacked system just because this is a pretty tight space. And we just have some extra storage over here. It's a bit of, bit of storage there. Um, we'll also have the same stone bench top going in here. That's going to be matching the kitchen area. So that's that white stone with the light vein. And behind me on the other side of the laundry, we have a bit of storage here. This is just for any sort of ironing boards and all that. We have that can all go in into here. This is pretty much just all storage just for any normal items that you'd use in house. And as we come out of the laundry, you can see that the flooring has gone in. We've put some protection over here just to save it from being damaged. But you can see that the patio outside has been done and all grouted. Um, this flooring here continues off into pretty much the entire house. That goes down to just some storage under the stairs. We have the kitchen over there leading into that downstairs living area. But as we come into the shared toilet downstairs, the plumber has plumbed all that in. We're just waiting on a few final bits like the toilet seat to all, all go in. But for the joinery on the other side, we're waiting on the basins to go in and the tapware, but that will go in after we get the stone tops installed in. So what we're doing here is we're gonna have that exact same white stone bench top with the light vein running through it all. Now that that's all done, what we're moving on to next, we're pretty much gonna be following the exact same path as the downstairs living and kitchen area because that comes first and everything's just gonna follow on from there. But we're going to be having the electricians and the plumbers. They're going to come in. They're going to do the final fit off of some of the like the power points here, as well as the tapware and the basins going in for the laundry area, as well as the basin in the downstairs toilet. Um, just finalizing all those little bits and pieces. Then we'll have the tilers come in. They're going to finish off the splashbacks in the laundry and behind the wet areas, in the, the, like the basins in the downstairs toilet. And then we'll have all the appliances start coming in like the washing machine the dryer the electricians the plumbers will come through and wire them all up and then we're pretty much out of this entire area we're going to start slowly moving out into the garage and then we can show, show you the final reveal of this area so while we had the floors going in for throughout the entire house and the all the tiles and the laundry and all this joinery and all that in those laundry in the downstairs uh, washroom area and getting all that stuff down the patio we also had the garage people coming through and what they've done is they've installed the double garage on the front face of that garage leading out to the street and what i've also done just to have a bit of extra space is i've put a, another sort of single garage door here this is just so if anyone's hosting an event or something in that small patio area what they can do is they can open up that roller door and then they'll have access to that outdoor patio area for any cooking like a barbecue or anything and they can open that up 
and extend their sort of whatever they're doing into that garage area if it's free. So everyone from that last bit, you would have seen that the joinery people have come through the entire house and what they've done is they've pretty much finished off all the joinery over two days. Um, so I can show you the laundry that I'm staying in at the moment. So as we come in, you can see that we've pretty much carried that exact same joinery finish that we used off in the kitchen. And we have the exact same sink that we're using in the butler's pantry, same as the stone. The only difference from the joinery in the kitchen and in here is the splashback. We've just carried through that white tile that we're using upstairs in all the bathrooms and all the wet areas in the house. So what we're waiting for in the laundry now is pretty much just those final little bits and pieces. Now that the splashbacks have been put on, those white ones, uh, we have the electricians gonna come back and fit off, I think there's only two power points up in this room. And then we also have the plumber who's gonna come back and install the tapware um, coming out of the stone, which was just cut and installed in yesterday. And now as we come out of the laundry down the hallway, we can go into the shared toilet downstairs. So we have the plumber's gonna come in and he's gonna install his final little fittings all over the uh, toilet here. Uh, the carpenter's gonna come back and put his toilet roll holder and all those extra little bits and pieces. And on the other side of the shared toilet, you can see that the stone people have come through. They've installed all the stone throughout the entire house, including these little ones. Um, they've cut the tap holes out. So what's next is the painters are going to come through, they're going to do the little touch-ups above the splashback. Carpenter's going to come back and fix the new sort of swivel mirror that we have going in. And then the plumber is going to come through and install all his tapware. But as we keep going down, we go into the garage and see that I've got my car parked in here now. But all the ceilings and the walls have been painted. The, both the garage doors are in and we've also installed a couple of clotheslines. One for inside when it's raining, and there's also one out on the patio for when it's not raining. Um, the only bit that's left in this garage area is we have this wall behind me here. We're gonna have another coat of paint on here just to cover up any little bits and pieces because we had all our stuff stored against this wall here so they couldn't get to it. Um, and then apart from that, we have an epoxy flooring guy coming through. He's gonna do an epoxy, a okay, light gray epoxy all over the floor just to cover up sort of any imperfections because we poured this um, if you've been following along from the beginning, we poured this section of the house in the rain. So it left a couple of little pit holes and all that, but that epoxy finish will come through and cover all that out and leave it with a nice finish. From that last bit that you would have seen before, the only change is that we've had the AC unit put out here. We've had the clothesline installed, like I said before, for any outdoor drying. Um, the column has been painted and we've added in an extra downpipe over here. Um, apart from that, it's not much has changed. We've also installed some of the white um, stone around the side just because this area is not going to get much sun so it's not really worth putting any grass down here.
know that's all done. That is it for the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for the next set of videos, what we're doing is we've got a couple um, extra ones for the bedrooms and the, all the upstairs rooms. Um, and then we've got some landscaping videos just to get the house to completion. And then from there, we'll start getting the house ready for sale and a sale video. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.